Hi, I'm Anne Mwawadu. Here's a Channel TV news update for July the 8th, 2020. Confirmed COVID-19 cases in Nigeria are now almost 30,000 as the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and CDC has announced new 503 infections, bringing the total number to 29,879. While 12,108 patients have so far recovered from the virus, a total of 669 deaths have been recorded. Kwara State has recorded a high-profile COVID-19 death and here is the Chief of Staff to the Kwara State Governor, Mr. Adisa Logo. The 73-year-old Chief of Staff reportedly died in a health facility in Ilori, the state capital, after he was said to have been rushed to the hospital before he eventually died. Meanwhile, the Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, is asking all state governments who are yet to reopen worship centres to do so, noting that the continued lockdown order on places of worship is no longer acceptable and justified. CAN National President Reverend Samson Ayokunle said in a statement that despite the directive on reopening of churches, states like Lagos and Ogun are yet to allow reopening of worship centers. On the international scene, the bodies of at least 180 men have been found in mass graves in northern Burkina Faso. According to a report by Human Rights Watch, the graves were found in a region where government forces are fighting the jihadist insurgency. And in sports, Liverpool manager Jürgen Klopp is encouraged by the development of the club's academy graduates and hopes to have an entire squad of homegrown talent at his disposal in the future. Liverpool secured the top fly title for the first time in 30 years last month, leading to suggestions that Klopp would give more game time to next-generation players such as Necker Williams, Curtis Jones and Javi Elliott in the season's seven remaining games. And that's your news update today. Don't forget to join us later for the evening recap. I'm Anne Mwawadu. Thank you for watching.